Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha yoga teacher. So today in this video, I am going to talk about the various kind of foods which are responsible for enhancing the heat in the system. Or you can also understand it as what are the foods or what are the things that we do or we eat which will enhance the pitta dosha in our system. Many times this happens like we will feel for no reason there is a lot of heat in our system or in our body as, uh, as you know as we do anger suddenly the temperature of the body becomes very high and sweating comes our face become red. So what happens have you ever noticed it will enhance the pitta dosha or heat in the system. Similarly, there are certain other actions and certain foods which are also responsible for enhancing the heat in the system. So today in this video, I am going to talk about the various foods that are responsible for enhancing the heat in the system. When, when I am talking pitta not as a dosha, not as a pitta dosha, but pitta, that means the heat in the system that is more related to liver. In Ayurveda, most commonly the bile that is secreted by liver, as you know, our liver as our organ, it secretes certain juices that is called bile. And this bile, it is also responsible for coloration of our stools. Have you ever noticed like in jaundice when there is obstruction in the flow of bile or if there is some inflammation in the liver cells and bile is not uh, secreted properly then what happens the color of our stools will become clay like. The yellow color of our stool is given by the bile juice which has been secreted by liver and this bile juice is responsible for our digestion. It also plays very important role as a digestive juice. But according to Ayurveda, excess of bile is also bad and lack of bile is also bad. As you know, Ayurveda science is all about balancing everything. So if you have excessive secretion of bile, that is also not good for health. And if there is less secretion of bile, that is also not good for health. When you have excess secretion of pitta, that will enhance your body temperature. I am not saying like when you have excessive bile juice, it will enhance your body temperature. But when I am talking about pitta, because pitta is not exactly bile. But yes, there are many functions of this pitta that are related to bile. So whenever there is excess of pitta or heat in the system, that is responsible for enhancing the body temperature. As you know the function of the liver, liver secretes bile juice and this bile juice is very much helpful to break down the fats that we eat, it will digest fat and ultimately it will get stored in the gallbladder. And this pitta in Ayurveda is also known as digestive fire or agni that is responsible for all the metabolism that is happening in our system that can be anabolism that can be catabolism but whole metabolism is happening because of digestive fire which is present inside our body that is also known as jatra agni in ayurveda so now let's know how, what are the signs and symptoms with which we can recognize that we have excess of pitta in our system or how to recognize that this is the time that we pay attention to balance our pitta dosh. So there are very common signs and symptoms that are according to Ayurveda that is also known as Purvarupas that is also that is also known as pre-diagnostic signs like if you have your lips very dry, if you throat, if your throat becomes very dry, very thirsty very often. If there is burning sensation in your hands and feet, for no reasons you feel like your body, your hands are burning. One thing is temperature, that is fever. That happens whenever you will have infection. But for now, if thermometer shows no temperature, but still if you feel burning in your hands and in your feet, that means you have excess of pitta. Sometimes excess of eye red reddishness, eyes becomes very red like bloodshot eyes sometimes happens for no reasons though you are not sitting in front of computer screen 
or you are not doing anything with mobile or tab but still eyes are very burning like this like some kind of chillies are there in eyes and there is redness in the eyes in addition to that sometimes we are feeling excessive acidity in our stomach like um, a different kind of burning sensation in our stomach that also happens when we have excess of pitta or excess of digestive fire when we when we will feel excessive burning sensation in the stomach we will feel we if we eat something everything will become balanced and if we eat yes to some extent this burning sensation goes but again it comes so if this is happening that is because of pitta dosha and one more thing is there like initially uh, if you ignore this sign like if burning sensation is happening you are eating something it satiate again excessive burning sensation happening you are eating something and it become balanced after some time you will start observing that your hunger goes very down this is also the symptom of excessive pitta dosh in your system when ladies will go through periods like monthly cycles they will see there is excessive flow of blood in your periods that also represents the excess of pitta dosha in your system according to ayurveda but good thing is if we focus on our diet and if we focus on our certain do's and don'ts we can get rid of all these problems and our pitta dosha will come into balance just by having right kind of food So what are the things that we need to understand if we have excessive pitta dosha that is you need to avoid all those things which are very hot in potency so when i'm talking about hot in potency that includes tea coffee both of these things are hot in potency herbal teas i am not talking about but normal teas teas which contain caffeine these both things are hot in potency so if you have all these symptoms which i have mentioned just now then for some days try to avoid tea and coffee because sometimes people are feeling dryness and dryness of throat and they keep drinking coffee just to uh, feel little bit relaxed but the thing is coffee will aggravate more and more dryness because it enhances vata dosh also so best thing is for some days try to avoid tea and coffee in addition to that you also need to avoid all the spices you need to make spices content very low because excess of spices mean excessive heat in the system spices are responsible for enhancing your digestive fire or enhancing your pitta so whenever you have excessive pitta dosh in the system you need to reduce the content of your spices and you also need to pay attention that you start avoiding the excessively sour things uh, when i'm talking about sour things i'm not talking about lemon and uh, amla that is amlica officialis or indian gooseberry these are sour but they contain they have different kind of properties these two things you can take if you have excessive pitta dosha these will help but if you have ulcers because of acidity then you try to avoid our all sour things because then it will come uh, then it will make irritation in your stomach so in these cases definitely you will not take any sour thing but if you don't have excessive acidity or ulcer in the stomach then you can take indian gooseberry and lemon also so many people were asking you specifically tell what are the specific spices that we should avoid if you have excessive pitta then you should avoid chilies chilies are very hot in potency you need to avoid pepper pepper is also very hot in potency you need to avoid turmeric that is also very hot in potency and you also try to avoid asafoetida yeah. that is also hot in potency so you can have cumin and coriander cumin also less coriander as a uh, coriander as a spice you can have in your diet in addition to that what are the other things that you need to avoid that is unsoaked dry fruits many people have a habit of uh, snacking in between so they think okay instead instead of having any cookie let's uh, consume dry fruits and they uh, take a big feast of dry fruits or big bowl of dry fruits just dry fruits unsoaked Uh, those dry fruits which are not soaked overnight so when you take these kind of dry fruits what will happen it will enhance the pitta dosh in your system because dry fruits are extremely hot in potency after soaking all the heat from the dry fruits will go into the water 
and this way uh, these dry fruits will not uh, cause enhancing heat in the system so if you want to have dry fruits in the morning soak it overnight and in the morning then you can have but without soaking if you will take it will enhance the pitta dosha and acidity problems in addition to that among spices you also try to avoid ginger and garlic they both things are hot in potency and if you have excessive pitta dosha in the system try to make the content of these spices low so this was about food all other foods you can have all other fruits you can have in addition to that one other thing that you need to avoid that is curd or uh, yogurt so these two things you please try to avoid these are also hot in potency and never ever eat at night especially many times i have mentioned in almost many of my videos never take curd at night never heat curd so this way they will he they will cause excessive pitta dosh in your body and many people were asking if whether they can have buttermilk if they have excessive heat in the system yes you can have buttermilk but make sure buttermilk should not be sour in taste if buttermilk is not sour in taste then you can have it will not enhance pitta dosh in your system but if it is sour then it will cause excessive pitta dosh in addition to that what precautions we need to take if we have excessive pitta dosh in our system we need whenever we are going out especially in summers always carry umbrella or always cover your head because whenever direct sun uh, hits your head it will also cause uh, excessive pitta dosh in your body so all those people who have excessive pitta dosh in your system try to cover your head don't go in direct sun always carry umbrella with you in addition to that you can also apply aloe vera paste to your head that will also cause a cooling sensation in your head and this way you will feel much more relaxed in addition to that don't if you have excessive pitta dosh in your system don't uh, try to wear excessively bright clothes because bright clothes especially red uh, and these kind of uh, colors that also fire up uh the excessive heat in your system so that's why you should not wear excessive bright clothes whenever you have excessive pitta dosh in your system try to wear sober colors so that it will not disturb the uh, constitution of your body also among uh, talks and uh, among actions try to avoid anger how you can avoid anger please spend some time in meditation listening positive thoughts thinking about nature and uh, just be uh, merge with your surroundings not uh, focusing on anything specifically just give some time spend some time with yourself with meditation yoga isha yoga or any other kriya yoga any other yoga whichever you are practicing so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you will like it and if you have any question please write down those questions in the comment section i will try to answer your questions in the best possible way also if you are watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there is a subscription button click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us also those of you who are willing to have ayurveda consultations please leave a comment in the comment section i will send you my email to you and then you can tell me your problem or you can go uh, to the links provided in the description below and you can write a mail to me so with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed take care bye